an exciting surprise. So Big Boy went to um, the butcher a couple months ago and he was 400 something pounds hanging weight. Um, and then we've been looking for some pigs ever since and we finally found some piglets. So I'm going to show you these cute little pigs. And they're actually from, um, I guess, semi-decent breeding stock because the place nearby and they they raise pigs to show. So it's be pretty good. <gasps> There he is. <laughs> Hi, boy. Meet Bacon and Ham Hawk. This little girl is the black one, and the little boy is the white one. This is where they get their water. It's hooked up to the hose and they just push it with their nose and it comes out. That was actually something that my mom inherited from her dad um, that was on her farm growing up and it works really great. It's kind of like our first I don't know if you can see my goosebumps, but it's kind of our first kind of chilly day and I'm out here in a tank top. <laughs> I didn't anticipate it being this cold, but I'm gonna show you kind of what these little guys job is gonna be now. This is the electric fence right here that we have for big boy and it's on and running. So this is how we're gonna kind of move them around, make sure they have fresh grass. But for now, their job is to clean out this calf lot. It, it might take them a little while. They're young and they're just now. You can see they're kind of figuring out how to root um, around the ground. Making it work. But they are going to be, have a job to clean out this whole pin. See the fence over there. October was another slow month for building progress. At the end of September, we went through a custody dispute. Relations were not good with the girl's mom, and it continues to be a struggle. If you have ever experienced a custody battle, you may be able to relate. It puts a lot of stress on the finances, the marriage, and the relationship with the kids, because answering their questions without giving them a negative view of their parent takes a lot of self-control. We are not always perfect examples of this. Sometimes we were angry and couldn't explain why. It is very important to me that I don't lie to the kids, even to protect them, so I had a lot of practice saying, sweetie, that is a grown up issue and I can't talk about it. Know that you are safe and dearly loved by all of your parents. My husband is now the custodial parent of the two younger kids, and we are still working out the kinks. This experience has shown me how important self-care is, and by God's grace, I am developing the discipline to show up in the lives of these little people that I never planned on having this much responsibility for. 
it is hard, it is scary, and it is teaching me the meaning of agape love. The selfless love that God demonstrates to humanity and that He gives without receding and in spite of repetitive rejection. There always seems to be a double standard for stepmoms in regard to how love is shared between stepparent and stepchild. I am merely doing my best with the hand that has been dealt to me and praying for grace when I don't measure up to the expectations of myself or others. See, they just hop up to get a drink. set up here is is not the best but as you can see the birds just kind of get to free range and they sort of go wherever they want um it doesn't always work out well we had a rooster that we lost but you know they come in here at night because um again it's just kind of rigged up there for for what we can what we can do um but the hawks and the stray dogs and all that do there is a lot of pressure from that this is a little apple tree we still have tomatoes coming in but, you know this is where we had kept the pigs before so some of these tomatoes we had grown and some not <laughs> Um, some of them with the pigs, but there's still, there's still blossoms, so I'm thinking we'll be getting tomatoes up until, you know, it really freezes. So the bugs seem to like them. garden right now. you know get another rabbit to to breed her with and we got <laughs> we have spinach growing up underneath her um, and she seems to be eating it because the spinach hasn't been growing past like her cage so she she has this spinach leaves to nibble on as they come up through the bottom of the cage and also rabbit food makes really good really good fertilizer for the garden so that's why we have It is really cold out here. 
I got goosebumps. that whatever hardship you find yourself facing this season, you can also find the opportunity for self-growth. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.